Tuesday night. It is time to fight a squid or whatever is happening yeah, I in this it's Cthulhu adventure. Um, oh yes, I, I I put a sleeping man in a wheelbarrow and went into some building. Yes, I think it's a factory. Oh, okay. In the diamond <coughs> factory or something where they're working on some sort of strange eldritch some, machination. Something sinister, certainly. Yes. Uh, we're we're both full of enchilada. Yep. My left ear is full of half of a cotton ball. Oh god. To make sure that your drops stay in. Okay. For my infection. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's neither here nor there. Matters is we need to get this goddamn cat to shut up. Yep, fucking cats. And the only way we'll do that is forward. Yep. Oh, I need to switch the screen. That might be a good idea. I'm not good at describing screens. <laughs> I think I'd run out of voice. Sometimes it takes a long time to load. It's very strange. Because this is not a, uh, a, a heavy game. My Samsung NVMe 970 Evo Plus just cannot handle mm-hmm. all the data being transferred when one of these saves loads. Yeah. There we go. You've got your cool new outfit. Oh, that's right, yeah. <clears throat> okay. Uh, I haven't had a chance to explore the screen yet. We've got a few things to examine, like an engine. Mm hmm. Huge, huge, huge engine. From what I can make out, it seems to power the suspension mechanism above. There's a lever for that. (laughs) (laughs) You gas up that huge engine through this. It's screaming out for fuel. You know, I remember a puzzle in Indiana Jones and the Fate of Atlantis about getting, putting gas in like some generator. Yeah, that sounds familiar. No resonance. I, uh, I think it was like completely in the dark, so you just have to like fish around. Yeah. Them. You know, the uh, the design space for uh, adventure games was still kind of in its infancy. <laughs> Some kind of <clears throat> container, apparently. A container? What could it contain? Who knows? Might be something useful inside. Don't forget to put that power tool back up once you're done with it, D. Ugh, the lid's all stuck with some mm. disgusting crud. You need some sort of crud remover. Yeah. It's a hatch in this uh this thing, but it's dark as night inside. <laughs> <clears throat> this means there's got to be some way to get inside it, whatever it is. Can't reach it. Not mean to go up these stairs, but all right. Come on. Oh no! Freeze, you ugly cultist! <laughs> Isn't that assuming a bit too much, given how dark it is in here? Don't push your luck when there's an angry little kid pointing a cannon at you, batty. See. Now that is concerning. I don't know that I want to live in a society where an innocent child can easily get her hands on a... Would you like for 
nice to really appreciate you. <laughs> what? Um... <laughs> Unless you really do, don't make me turn you into Swiss cheese! Oh, there we go. I'm not moving. Good. Good. Okay, now what? Now you get to explain just what you're creeping around in the dark here for, cultists. I... I'm really not a cultist. Honest. Mm. Oh, okay, let me see here. Cultist robes? Check. Lurking around in an abandoned <coughs> factory? Check. I'm a private investigator in deep cover. That's not the only thing you're deep in, creep. <laughs> what are you up to here? Don't lie. I can tell. Well, see ya. What do you think you're <laughs> Opting out of this dialogue? <laughs> no, well, I got you in my sights, you don't. Oh, okay. It just worked every time before. Everything, <laughs> cultists. Uh, I'm, I'm a flooring inspector. I don't know how hazardous even just standing here is. So, this is a standard inspector attire? Uh, no, but they, they won't let me in without it. Put it back on the shelf and step away from the shopping cart. Because I'm not buying that. <laughs> <laughs> I was just looking for you. Someone said a kid got lost in this abandoned factory, so... So here I am, your savior. Look, I'm not firing any warning shots because the noise will alert your buddies. So rely on me making all my bullets count. <laughs> Read that loud and clear. <laughs> I'm investigating. I'm looking for, uh, well, at this point, I might call him a criminal mastermind, really. The Butcher. And how do I know you're not one of his henchmen, trying to lie your way out? Oof, can't think of anything, really. There's just been so much going on lately, it's hard to wrap my head around everything. Let alone explain myself to a kid with a huge gun point at my noggin. I've got time. Ugh, to make <laughs> an extremely long and convoluted story short, I'm helping a friend unhumanize his cat. I think. <laughs> Turns out, uh, when they can talk, they're real grouches. So, I'm trying to find out. Wait, what's this friend's name? Buzz. Oh, we'll talk about a coincidence. Is he a librarian? Only librarian I know what's got a talking cat, yeah. Wait, you're not shooting me now, are you? Whatever way they wronged you, I had nothing to do with it. It can be a real. They actually got Mr. Gillsby back from me. Oh, it's this girl. Him, yeah. They kind of right in my book. I, I, I mean, I hate them less than you cultists. Wait, you, you know Buzz and Kitty? <laughs> yeah, we swapped all the while ago, back in Darkham. Well, that sounds perfectly normal. Unlike what you are doing to the fishies, you, you bad, bad people. I don't even like fish. I, I mean, I don't like eating them. I've got nothing against them. So then why are you killing so many of them? Again, not a cultist. But it might have something to do with whatever the butcher was working on in this very building. Yeah, well, we'll shed some light on that situation soon enough. You really shouldn't be in here alone. What'll your parents think? They think I'm still in my bedroom. I make sure <coughs> Can I ask where you got that huge gun from? Not got some cultist leader in my way in here. Anything else? Uh, maybe later. I'm really not a cultist. My name's Don. Don Archetype. Hmm, Don doesn't sound like what a cultist name would be. I figured they'd all have names like... <laughs> Mortimer? Yeah, and he's really uptight too. Do you believe I'm not a cultist now? Not entirely. You'd better actually prove it. All right. Uh, I, I'm game, I guess. What are you thinking? If you're really here for the reasons you say you are, we're both looking for the same thing. The Butcher's Laboratory. Chop, chop! I'll be supervising from up here. Sounds like a plan, uh, Miss... Basilla. Are you sure? I'm sure! Get to it! <coughs> Nice big lever over here. Seems to control the suspension mechanism above. A 
It ain't working. Yep. Just hanging out. Strange. There's a discontinuity in the pattern here. There's something here I need to take a closer look at. <laughs> Cover it well! Cover it well! Oh my! <laughs> I know Kung Fu. Aha! It's a heavy sliding door. Huge, sturdy sliding door. Riveted shot on its right side. There's gotta be something of interest behind it. Riveted shut. Dang it. Keep them well refrigerated, he said. More liquid nitrogen! That's one impressive, gigantic door. I don't see myself forcing this one open. Lock it! Lock it! Leave the shot! <laughs> Locked from the inside. Didn't really expect to see mattresses and pillows lying around in here, but there they are. Maybe they had an overpopulation problem? Place seems empty now. Sleep more, work more, raise more, sleep more, work more, raise more. I don't want to touch any of them. Bunch of annoying rivets keeping the door shut in place. I really hate you, rivets. I really do. <laughs> so mad at rivets. Hate Ratchet and Clank. That requires some kind yeah. of specialized tool. Can't do it with my bare hands. Actually, probably could if my hands were bare hands. <laughs> It's the lever what puts the huge engine in motion. I really want to pull it. <laughs> pull that. Mm, nothing happened. I think it needs fuel. Let's pop this baby open. All right, got myself a power tool. Ooh, perfect. They can unscrew and put holes in things. Mm -hmm. It's a keeper. <laughs> God for technology. I stepped inside and felt my teeth instantly chatter. This was some kind of cryo room, and I didn't bring thicker underwear. All kinds of junk. The industrial flavor. It looks like it was thrown into that corner in something of a rush. What happened here? It's just junk. I don't need any of it. Hurry, hurry, hurry! Oh, 
I saw the stretch daisy. Oh, yeah. The gas canister. Seems to at least not be empty. Maybe I could use it. Just throw it in there. Let's go, let's go. <laughs> Her right in the microphone. Come to Papa. Sweet gasoline. <clears throat> There's a blue liquid inside this tube. Liquid nitrogen, perhaps? Probably keeping this machine's contents refrigerated. Nah, can't reach it. No resonance. Some kind of strange display with cycling buttons on both sides. It says Hudsuras above, <laughs> whatever that might mean. There's a soft hum emanating from it, so I assume it's functioning. I'm telling you, what got away? Oh. <laughs> huh. One's missing. Uh oh. Oh. A jolly good day to you, sir, and young miss, if day it indeed be. You <laughs> forgot about this character. <laughs> I've been holed up in here for quite a while. I suppose thanks are in order for opening that blasted door. Truly appreciate it. Ah, uh, sure, no problem. Oh, do forgive my rudeness. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm quite sure that my name is Otis, but I'm afraid much of my biography is as much a question mark to myself as it is to you. I'm not wrong in surmising that this is the first time you're engaging in conversation with a human octopus hybrid, correct? Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm kind of at a loss for words here. <laughs> Don't worry, Mr. Octopus Person. I like you. You're kind of a fishy, so you're okay. Haha, <laughs> well, yes, young miss. I assume I am. Aren't I? Please, call me Otis. Nice to meet you, Otis. I'm Basoa, and this guy over here is Dawn. He's a private detective. Yes, she believes me. But anyway. <laughs> what, uh, what can you remember, Otis? I do remember my name was Otis. <clears throat> well, I died. I'm afraid I can't remember the circumstances. I did wake up at the hands of these persons that were operating on me. Strange sensation, to be sure. <sighs> But I was alive again. Quite a blessing, sir, I assure you. <clears throat> Did you see the butcher? Yeah. Did you? I'm afraid I don't know what butcher you speak of. Well, everything's a bit foggy, you understand. All I can remember are masked <clears throat> men rushing about with all kinds of strange instruments. Their speech was muffled, so it was pretty hard to make anything out, I'm afraid. Dang it. I do remember them referring to me as a dry, if that helps at all. A uh, dry. Any idea what that means? One can only assume it has some negative implications, but that's pure speculation on my part. Do you know where the laboratory is? Yes, I do. You... You don't want to go in there, do you? Indeed, we're chatting away when we should be getting out of here at this very instant. No one's going anywhere until we reach the lab. Oh dear, I must be frank with you, young miss. I intend to leave the premises as soon as possible and suggest you do the same. <laughs> Come on, Otis, work with us. You ain't gotta go back in there, just help us get in. Oh, heavens, well, all right. I suppose I owe you a debt of gratitude. The laboratory is right outside this chamber, and to the right. A portable instaphrase. Neat. I think I'd feel safer carrying this. <laughs> I just do. And I could just walk around with frost in my pocket. <laughs> nice. Take it, brother. Only this can keep the things at bay.
That's real cool. Staying frosty. They're just chilling. They're giving me the cold shoulder as much as cubes have shoulders. I guess they probably have four shoulders if you think about it. There's no way I'm touching that. This was water before it was cool. I should cool it with these puns. Oh, I thought we'd get a flashback of someone else making a pun. Oh, that would Not be great. Not exactly ready to carry. <clears throat> that kid, Priscilla. She's a tough cookie, I'll tell you that. I'm not doing that. <laughs> hey, kid, I think I thought of a way to get us past those huge doors, but I need you to trust me, okay? What do you mean? I'm gonna need that gun of yours. Fine, I trust you. Do not let me down! <laughs> That's a promise, Priscilla. Finally, you've got a gun. <laughs> That's one impressive, gigantic door. Apparently, the butcher's lab's behind it. Drink up, big buddy. There you go. <laughs> I'd gotten the engine to run. At least now. Any loud noises would be covered by the engine's humming. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I'm gonna call it Alice. Cause it's in chains. <laughs> That's her explaining. Not a complete square, you know. I doubt that. Yeah. Very much. But seriously, looks like it could somehow be of use. Severely out of range. Been a while, but here goes. <laughs> I got rid of the glass above the door to the lab. Seeing as you're the only one with suction cups, think you could do us a solid and get inside the lab through there? Oh dear, I suppose I can. To be perfectly honest, I'm shaking in my non existent boots just at the thought of going back in there. Come on, you can do it, Otis. Yeah, you go, Otis. I appreciate your support, dear friends. <sighs> All right, here I go. Oh, dear. Oh, Lord. Oh, it's 
It's all coming back now. The pits, the horrible pits, the non-dries, their horrible gnashing and gnawing and... Oh, this is too much to bear. Oh, God, what is that? Oh, oh, what do you know? It's a coin. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and of, of course, n no pockets to put it in. Great. Oh, God, the abominations. Focus, Otis, focus. Uh, 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 all right, it's open. <laughs> wow. Thanks, Otis. You are incredibly brave. Gee, yes, c uh, could I please go now? There are horrible things in there, and I... Don't wish to spend another second in that vicinity. Where are you headed to, Otis? I, uh, oh, it appears I really have no place to go, do I? <sighs> yeah, I thought that might be the case. Look, here's my office back in Darkham. The key's under the doormat. Make yourself at home until you, uh, think things through, all right? How exactly is he going to make it there without attracting attention? You're right. Hey, I have an idea. Priscilla, you should mail him to my address. You know, like a, like a pet or something. I didn't want to see the laboratory and save the fishies. Do you mail pets? <laughs> you said it yourself. Otis is sort of a fishy, <laughs> yeah. and he needs your help. Once you mail him, you can come back and we'll explore together. What do you say? I mean, I guess you're right. But don't explore too much without me, you hear? You can count on me, partner. Don't get ahead of yourself. See ya. Many thanks again. All the best. Oh, it's jolly good to get a second chance, isn't it? So many opportunities. Mike? Hmm. Let's see here. Why? Why, I could be on telly, my dear. The one true talking head out there. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's true. <laughs> see, little one? Always keep a positive outlook. Ew. Ow. J just a second. Stepped in some oily thing here. Ew. Well, I guess it's slithered, actually, isn't it? <laughs> You're funny, Otis. Well, that was surreal. <sighs> All right, let's see what secrets this place holds. <clears throat> hmm. <clears throat> a pit, another pit. It's a dark, deep pit, but down there I can just make out something wrong squirming around glimpses of eyes teeth and tentacles coming in and out of the darkness man am I happy for that grip <laughs> no <laughs> Another pit, another unseen creature writhing at the bottom. The stuff that nightmares are made of. <laughs> Terrifying. No. <laughs> its only feature is a big <laughs> red button. That button's begging to be pressed. Press this button, worm, and we will <laughs> die. A plain, scratched metal panel of sorts. Looks stuck in place. It's stuck. Don't touch unless one escapes, worms. Katype's got leverage. It seems to control some kind of security apparatus. Probably put in place in case one of those creatures escapes. Don't touch unless one is. <laughs> Looks okay. like a view of this room from above. Ah. And there's a cage hanging overhead. <laughs> Oh, no. Huh. So the button opens both the door and the monster's pits. 
Devious. That's one monstrosity secured. And all the rest of them loose. That's one monstrosity secured. And all the rest of them loose. Looks like this door somehow slides into the wall. No visible handle. Could this lead to the butcher's inner sanctum? This definitely opens somewhere else. Stay out, mooks. So you can't go back into the previous room. That's all the creeps loose, but at least I'm safe once I press this button. I don't see a better option. Oh my, some, some tentacle friends. Those, are those the non-dries? I guess so. They look pretty wet. I really want to be your friend. I don't know what that is, but it wants me dead. It's horrid. I ain't touching it. No time for that. <laughs> no, you don't want to hear what they're thinking? I hate to admit it, but I was shaken. Experiments are not. Scientific reality or abhorrent supernatural nightmare. These horrible blobs of flesh, limb, and rot existed. I could still smell their indescribable presence, even though they were all gone. God knows where. It really takes a lot to shake me, but I... I was shaken. Slightly charred piece of wood. Who knows where it came from? <laughs> Woody. <laughs> A bunch of pebbles. Must have fallen from the ceiling when the cage descended. Nice pebbles. Yeah, I might need these. Oh boy, pebbles. I was in. I was inside the butcher's inner sanctum, and I'd expected this place to be lousy with guts and gore and parts and pieces, but... But this wasn't that. This was, well, colorful. Colorful in a way that makes a Joe uneasy, and it set me to wondering what this guy had for triangles. <laughs> so many triangles. Oh my. Ah, there's a lot here. I've noticed these dust mounds everywhere around here. What the heck are these things? 
This stuff looks similar to the stuff in Flamel's place. Huddle! Huddle together, lovelies! What? Ugh, no. Who knows what this stuff actually is? A couple of vertical openings. Something's missing here. Some kind of switch was definitely present here, but it's been broken off. Just break it off, little fly. It's an uneducated guess, but judging by the number of cables coming out of this thing, it might be what powers everything in here. I want to operate it so bad. <laughs> I'd love to, but I see no apparent way of turning it on. Just break it off, little fly. Of all the things in here, those alone seem to justify this nutter's nickname. Oh my. They look pretty disturbing and triangular. Most of them. No apparent sign of use, but could be you just cleaned them real well. <laughs> this won't hurt a bit, little worm. No, I don't believe that. I'm not touching them. Oh, come on, Don, have some fun. <laughs> <clears throat> some kind of control panel looks embedded in this area of the wall, along with the shelves. I want to operate it so bad it isn't powered right point right it's a stylized painting of a human head it's a uh, pretty generic looking I doubt it represents anyone in particular no apparent way of directly interacting with it. My contribution. I don't feel good about this. Food is plentiful, and the little one grows I stared at the Kraken head, and it seemed to stare back at me with its blood red eyes. A little unsettling, I had to silently say to myself. Red veins ran all over the hideous head, seeming to pulsate right under the skin, despite the fact that this was just a painting. I don't think I'd hang this thing above my work desk, no matter the circumstances. And you shall breathe true life. Who? True life? Was it dead to begin with? No apparent way of... An assortment of books, but they're all written in what's either an alphabet unknown to me or code. Can't make heads or tails of these letters. <laughs> they're no use to me. These are not for you! <clears throat> an assortment of books, but they're all written in what's either an alphabet unknown to me or... Code. Can't make heads or tails of these letters. It's definitely a control panel. Controlling what? That remains to be seen. I gotta say, I find the aesthetic pleasing. Worms and flies. Damn, no pup. The perfect pair of wings. Hmm.
This must be the butcher's desk. It's littered with discarded pages full of gibberish or code. Worms! Worms! Lies! <laughs> as tempting as it is, I'll pass. A strange, strange device. Seems to be out of power. No idea how to use this. Do as father tells you, little one. The perfect pair of wings. And there it was, a loose handle hanging conspicuously from the door of an empty cabinet. It looked like something I could probably use. Stupid flies need to learn. Stupid flies need the most attention. <laughs> painting of a wing. <laughs> Stylistically, very similar to the central piece. Reminded me of the ones what disappeared from underneath Vlad's castle back in Transylvania. <clears throat> Every single flap one of my doing! My desire! I don't feel good about this. <laughs> Carnifex. <laughs> I wonder what that's another word for. <laughs> yeah, this fits. But if this is a power generator, it might make for a shocking <laughs> experience. Doesn't fit. I don't want to block the openings. <laughs> I don't see an opening to stick it into. A couple of vertical openings. Something's missing here. I can go back out. Mm -hmm. Say hi to all your tentacle friends. <laughs> Can I press the button again? <laughs> I don't know if you still have liquid nitrogen, so that might not be a great Empty idea. Empty now. Oh, I guess they're all out and in town. Empty now. Educated guess, but judging by the number of cables coming out of this thing, it might be what powers everything in here. Some kind of switch was definitely present here, but it's been broken off. Nah, not the right size or shape. Wouldn't help. I've put a nice round hole in it. I've put a nice round hole in this thing. Wonder what would fit in there. I've got an idea. But this is a an all ages yeah, strength. This fits. But if this <laughs> is a power generator, it might make for a shocking experience. Uh -huh. All right. Got myself a shock free switch. I need a nice crack in painting at some point. <laughs> yeah. Yes. 
Power is back on. Put it next to your uh, the stick bug display. Yeah. All my favorite cryptids. <laughs> No idea how to use this. Only I can the passage of the as tempting as it is, I'll pass. Oh, interesting shapes. Mm hmm. Lots of unknowns. Yeah. Some kind of control panel looks embedded in this area of the wall. things in here, those alone seem to justify this nutter's nickname. I'm not touching. Some kind of control panel looks in. Quickly cycles through some biological imagery. Love biological no idea. imagery. I stared at the Kraken head, and it seemed to stare back at me with its blood red eyes. A little unsettling, I had to silently say to myself. They're no use to me. A painting of a wing. Stylistically, very similar to the central piece. No apparent way of do Every single black one of my doings! 
my desire. I don't feel good. <laughs> It's a stylized painting of a human head. It's a uh, pretty generic looking. It's a stylized painting of a human head. Reminded me of the ones what disappeared from. CHK This must be the butcher's desk. It's definitely a control panel. Nothing on the cover but a triangle. This better not be written in gibberish. I'm sure it won't be. This thing must hold some important information. Rest, friend. <laughs> well. Luckily, I, I'm pretty sure you don't have to translate all of this. But if you want to, feel free.
Oh, yeah. Uh-oh. That's not... oh, oh. So I thought it was like a technical. I did do it first. <laughs> it's a small piece of ripped cloth caught on the edge here. Whoever they were, I really hope they didn't end up in the darkness below. I really don't need it. Maybe just its story. <laughs> Whatever passage used to be here, it's now a big, black, intimidating hole. <laughs> If this used to lead to Kraken Bay, well, it don't anymore. Just leads down. Take it down. Idiot! Left toward the bay, right toward the EOD. Get it through your thick skull. I feel like that one took me a long time for some <laughs> reason. I don't know why I struggled so much. I, I think the, the big thing that kind of cracked it for me was realizing there was 26 symbols. Yeah. And what did we do? Trusted the butcher, put our faith in the carnifex, double crossed by that, that freak. <gasps> Denying the dreamer his meal, running away with it. That was his payment for our stupid, misplaced loyalty. How do you think this looks like in the eyes of Father Dagon, huh? And I tell you right now, it is as clear as pure seawater to me that the starry knowledge was always behind that lunatic. I know some of you do not see the starry fools as a threat. Ha! You think me mad. You think I am making this up? This very night, a false preacher was spouting blasphemies about Mother Hydra and Father Dagon right outside the Finman house. Good thing a true believer cast the first stone. Well, egg. <laughs> and the crowd swiftly dealt with the poisonous snake. B -b but it happened. Truly it has happened in our fishmouth during our festival. I like all the fish. <laughs> Some nice aquariums. Kooky, freakish cultists. Look at those How idiots. <laughs> Rude, Don. I can't throw the hunter's like mark that. that far. I don't want him to know I'm here. <laughs> Oh my! Crockens gaping more. Why? They are very fishy. Dagon's name to the skies and to the green abysses. Hunter curse you. Hunter. The meal. What fools we were. Suffering squids. <laughs> what did the butcher call it? His little one? Stinking stingrays. Curse his name. Barracuda breath. <laughs> 
That's strange. Repent. Repent in the face of Father Dagon. Take and curse you. Step up and offer yourself, and we may yet Son of a squid. I need to start working son of a squid into my linguistic repertoire. <laughs> Stars fall on you. Huh? Stars? I thought these guys were all about fish. Enough of this masquerade! I knew it! Treason! There has been one true god, you fish-loving heathens! And his name is the Haunter! How dare you speak that name in the house of Dagon! You broke into our temple and stole the troubles of Hedron! Now you're going to- <laughs> Yep, they did that! <laughs> we'll feed you to the fish! Give us the book! Now you give us the book! Oh my god, little kid! What are you doing? <gasps> oh no! Oh, this facility. Oh, she got a doll. <clears throat> oh my. <laughs> There's a little home screen. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> As Rome burned and Nero watched and fiddled, so too we witnessed the fish take vengeance on the fishermen. Not sure it's the right comparison, Mr. Bizarra. I'm just worried about the kid. <laughs> oh, no need, Grants. I'm well and happy. No one's hurting the fishies anymore. And their bellies are nice and full now. <laughs> you really could have witnessed that. <laughs> Except you sort of made it happen. Well, it's all over now, Grandpa. Look. Water's draining, and the fishies are returning home. A perfect ending of the festival for everyone. Hooray! <sighs> Don't call me Grandpa. <laughs> Okie doke. I'll be on my way. Before Mom and Dad and Grandma notice that I'm missing. It's been fun. See you around. Take care, kid. <laughs> Crazy world we live in, huh, Mr. Basara? Thank you for your business, by the way. I sincerely don't know whether thanks are in order. I, I'm more confused with each passing hour, but my resolve grows stronger. So, what are you doing in this building of all places? Keeping tabs on the esoteric order? Looking for Olmstein? Sightseeing? You might joke about the sightseeing, but that is part of why I'm here. All across this accursed world, the storm rages ever more powerful, and I strongly expect some kind of... some kind of sign soon. What sign? And why here of all places? Maybe a reason for a bell to ring through a terrible storm. News sure does travel fast. This is the highest steeple in Fishmouth, with the grandest, most resonant bell in miles. This is where I'll wait for a sign, for as long as it takes. And awaken the beast? How do we know that's a good thing? We don't, but it is written, so it shall come to be. This could be the start of a fascinating philosophical debate, if only we had time. I need answers. I need to know what the hell's going on here. Ask. I've 
come across terrible things in the butcher's pits. What were they? Sorry, Jason. It is clear to me that Fishmouth holds more secrets than can be dug at in this small window of time we have, and time is not on our side. Not since we found that damn Necronomicon. <laughs> Some use it to spawn horrible monsters. Some to make cats speak. Some might say it's the same thing. <laughs> How do we fix that? What Olmstein allowed, Olmstein can undo. Find the enemy, thwart his plans, and Olmstein will reward you. I wish I had your confidence, Barnabas. There is this sign that's associated with Olmstein. Tell me what you think it means. Could be the visual representation of a oh. formula, a constellation. Oh, Could stretch, Daisy. Hmm. Thanks. I'll give it some thought. Help us find and stop this butcher, Barnabas. Carnifex Cerebralis. <laughs> what did you find out from scouring Fishmoth in its festival hours, Seeker? The butcher was definitely in cahoots with. The Starry Knowledge Cult. Doubtful. Wait, no. I mean... The Esoteric Order of Dagon. I'm convinced he used them to raise some kind of sea creature, codenamed MCHK. The Hafgufa. And what of its purpose? The Meal. That's what they called it. These EOD kooks thought they were raising the sea monster as an edible tribute to Dagon. They trusted the Butcher. He obviously took his meal, this MCHK, whatever it is, and, and escaped. Question is, where'd he go? Any ideas? Not exactly, but keep this in mind. Olmstein always watches, and always leaves something behind to push you in the right direction. Well, ain't that nice of him. I don't have time for this. Just a few more questions. There is this sign that says, tell me what you think it means. Could be the visual represent a constant. Could be a map. Hmm. I don't. I've got to go. I got to meet Buzz and Peace and try to put the pieces together. The other guide you. Do your best to find out where the butcher is headed and put an end to his plans, whatever they are. I will stay here and... Wait for a sign. See ya, Barney. <laughs> Don't call me that. <laughs> hey, kids. He's back. Nice place you've got here, Don. Glad to see you made it all right, buddy. Scared the living daylights out of us. No offense, dude. None taken. Yeah. Fishmouth was interesting. Met your dad finally, Peace. Oh yeah? Is he alright? He's good. He's in a steeple, waiting for a sign. Sounds like dad. Uh, can we please skip the niceties and put our heads together? Right. I made my way into the butcher's laboratory. Ah! Sorry! Bad flashback! Would you please excuse me? Sure thing, Otis. Go get some rest. <laughs> the butcher. He wasn't still there, was he? I just missed him. What did you find that could be relevant? MCHK seemed to be an important acronym. What's that about? Oh yeah, Barnabas said Hoff Gufa. Mm -hmm. that, that word rings a bell. I don't know if it rings a bell from this game, though. Yeah. They've definitely mentioned it in this game, of oh, course. Oh, okay. do that. I think they talk about it in Fishmouth or something. I've got a theory. MC might stand for... <laughs> Massive creature? I mean, that's what it supposedly is. As for HK... <laughs> Half-goofa 
king? Massive creature, half Kufa king. <laughs> ah, I might be very wrong on that. <laughs> Either way, he apparently used the cult to get the monster bred and fed, and then ran away with it to who knows where. The half Gufa. What? What will he do with it? Huge biological weapon under your control. I can think of a number of things. Oh boy. We need to get this guy. That's great and all, but you know, my problem? Remember what this is really all about? The Butcher and Olmstein? There's a connection there. We gotta stop always being one step behind them. The festival. Fishma really knows how to party. What I can say for sure is that the Esoteric Order has been brought down a few notches. And so is the Starry Knowledge Cult. Nice going, man. Wasn't me who did it. It was a short, weird little girl who really loves her fishies. <laughs> that actually makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Other than that, I'm afraid Fishmuth and its creepy inhabitants remain a mystery. For now. The stabilizing element. Olmstein's constant. What did that say again? A terrible storm and three bells ringing throughout its shell. Awaken the beast. What are your thoughts on it? <laughs> no idea. Seriously, I'd uh, rather not even speculate. This is way too arcane for me. Now is not the time to be cautious, Dawn. Not even when it's just theories. Oh yeah? What do you make of it? I stand by my conviction. Just like the Necronomicon, this is all just ever-changing chaos. So Olmstein wrote the ending down and set it in stone. Wrote the ending? What does that even mean? He is not like us. Can't you grasp the concept of divinity? If he wrote it down, it will happen. Oh, man. Where are we on Olmstein's sign? I'm stumped. What do you think it could be? Some kind of scientific formula. God, I hope not. I'm not equipped for that kind of investigation. How about we just drop that hypothesis and forget I said anything? Works for me. <sighs> Wait. I have an idea. Hand over that mouse buzz. <gasps> me and Vivian. I'm not prying into Dawn's personal files. Oh, come on. I'm not prying into Dawn's personal files. I'm not <laughs> prying into Dawn's personal files. I'm not prying into Dawn's personal files. I'm not <laughs> prying into Dawn's personal files. Don Jr. I'm not prying into Don's personal files. I'm not prying into Don's personal files. Maybe it's a map. <laughs> What's this dog down here? This is, yes. There was a bell in Paris. There was a bell in Fort Maris. Dawn, you said my dad's in a steeple in Fishman. There's a bell there, too. What do you know? It's Point Nemo. Point what? <sighs> Earth's polar. That's where you find area. him. It's the one point in the ocean yeah. that's farthest from any land. There should be nothing oh. there. Hmm. Maybe look it up in uh, recent news on that, uh, uh, the, th the thing there. Looking it up on the thing. <laughs> okay, what I'm finding are crazy conspiracy theories about expeditions to Point Nemo going back more than a century. 
Anything remotely recent? Decades ago, a ship called the Alert, rumored to be carrying a huge cargo of explosives, <gasps> never returned, apparently. I Sounds use some explosives. encouraging. So we got three bells plus Point Nemo. That's got to be it. We're going, right? Hold your horses, buddy. Say we go there. What do we do about the bells? I can get a hold of blood. I can find a way to reach Dad. I got Serge eating out of my palm, so I'm sure we can coordinate. Ring them all at once. We can awaken the beast, but do we want to? Or does that help the butcher? Think about it. If he ran away with it, it means that the butcher's in control of this monster. This beast, right? Just a theory, but these bells might snap the creature out of it. Yeah, three bells ringing thousands of miles away. Completely realistic. No, it makes a lot of sense and it fits the constant. Let's get in touch with all three of them and tell them to, uh, wait for a sign. We're a creative bunch. We'll come up with something should we need to, right? Preparedness has always been our forte. <laughs> what do I really have to lose at this point? The end of the world it is. It's just the farthest point from land. Doesn't really end there. It doesn't, huh? Tell me more. This is gonna be one long trip. Jeff, I don't think Don's gonna put shoes on anytime soon. Yes. Who needs shoes when you're on a boat? <laughs> Ladies and gents, it's kind of crazy, but we're really here. As far away from civilization as humanly possible. Not just humanly. Oh, right. Three months worth of rent money says what we're looking for is on the top of that mountain over there. I don't know. Did you see that crazy looking beach? I think our best bet is to split up and- Search for clues? Well, yeah, actually. It might increase our chances of finding this butcher. Peace. How about we take the mountain? Oh, cat, I hope you brought sunblock, because it's time to hit the beach. <laughs> Buzz, don't make this worse than it has to be. I'm sorry, I'm, uh, I'm nervous. Nervous? Okay, scared. I'm really, really freaking scared. Let's do this. And whoever finds the butcher first? Actually, I, I don't know. <laughs> uh, fingers crossed. <laughs> here once and for all sorry Daisy. is it me or does this place seem off somehow and for some reason that huge not quite full moon up there is particularly bothersome <laughs> Gibbous. not quite what give this almost but not quite fully revealed it's what you call that kind of moon whatever you say madam scientist let's just <gasps> uh oh whoa what what is this? I don't know, but you look repulsive. What is this? What have I turned into? You sort of look like discarded deli meat slapped together. <laughs> no. What? This is not me. You just got transformed, against your will, into something you despise. Sucks, huh? I'm an abomination, Kitty. B but I didn't even do anything. Oh, God. Oh, no. You think this is permanent? Oh. But now he's all not. scummy. Oh, what now? What do I look like now? Um, basic? Blocky? Everything is squares. I'm squares. Ah! Whoa. Yeah, I kind of prefer the previous look, to be honest. What fresh hell. What even am I? Some kind of... Um... Uh, you're like, um... Uh... I give up. I feel a panic attack coming. 
This place is really doing a number on you. Wade? I'm back! Oh, praise the infinite universe! I am back! Oh, that was scary as... I hate to be the ever-cynical one, but I have a bad feeling. I think it's... What? Yep, it's cyclical. No, no, no! The bad news is, you seem to keep transforming. <clears throat> the good news is only happening to you. <laughs> what can we do, Kitty? Suck it up and press on, Kerwin. Oh, uh, you're right. <clears throat> Let's keep going. Apparently that's what they call a gibbous moon. Almost completely visible, but not quite. Were I more literarily inclined, I'd say that it's almost metaphoric in a way. <laughs> but it's just a stupid moon. I'm sort of focused down here, actually. She's cooled me enough on moon phases today. Bizarre moss-covered monoliths are strewn all over this beach. I can see disturbing hieroglyphs all over them. No idea what they stand for. This place <clears throat> makes zero sense. Don't know what to do about them. Not worth bo- It's a normal-looking archway. I mean, normal considering the circumstances. Looks very passable through. <laughs> I can't pass through for some reason. Huh. Made it through. Come on, kitty. I don't know how to describe it, but it looks both painterly and paste it on. Really strange stuff. Something's stopping me from passing through this arch. I saw Buzz was doing some transforming. Mm -hmm. That's pretty normal. So, at least we're putting this insanity to use somehow. Just keep going, please. That's where we need to make it to. Man, I hope Dawn and Peace have it easier than us. Looks like quite the climb. Hopefully we'll get there soon. Not going further without Kid A. Oh. I can't pass through for some reason. I can't pass through for some reason. It's a really blocky arch thing. It's like it's not fully loaded or, or something. Something's... So, at least we're... Just keep going, please. Mm. 
Yeah. There's my goopy boy. I can't pass through for some reason. Kitty, help me out. How do we get past these arches? It's got to have something to do with this morphing business. Huh. By the way, I've been meaning to tell you. I think... I think I feel the Necronomicon, uh, vibrate. Maybe it's just you, shaking in your pants? Hmm. Maybe. Still mad about being humanized? Very much so. Okay, just checking. Oh, so cute. Whoa. What the heck did you do, Kerwin? It, it worked. The Necronomicon actually worked on you. Did you think I wasn't going through enough already? Look at me. I know, I know, but this might be helpful. Uh... <laughs> no. No. Scum cat. You, Buzz. <laughs> Good to know you stay the same regardless of definition. <laughs> oh no. This is insulting. Uh, I don't know. You actually look kind of cute. Shut up, you monster. <laughs> Well, at least you can turn me back to normal. Oh, enjoy it while it lasts. Daisy. Daisy. If only I could turn you into a pixelated LucasArts adventure cat. So, at least... Just keep... It's like a, like this stone thing with holes in it. <laughs> it's called a steel. How do you know these things? Those holes, though, looks like it might have a function. I can't reach that. Hey, can you try and see if that thing activates? I don't think I have enough limbs. Oh. <laughs> oh. Hmm. <laughs> I do love the, like <laughs> that one's really medieval good. painting. <laughs> okay. 
There you go. So many limbs. Hey, can you try and see if that thing activates? Impulsive, but pretty darn useful. <laughs> a pretty badly damaged statue of a humanoid holding a sword. That sword looks really neat. It's really weird. Whenever I look at it, I kind of feel the Necronomicon <sighs> vibrating. Uh, I don't know how to. I think she's helped enough in here. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> censored. Oh, oh. This got sword. I'll just pick it up. <laughs> Kidding me if we need that. I'll sword. just pick it up. Where have I seen this branch before? Oh, it's killing me. Oh, it disappeared. Oh. Oh, it fell on the oh. ground, I think. I'll just pick it up. Half of a carved out globe on, on some kind of pedestal. There's a definite vibration, but I don't think I need it here. Not putting it back. Nah, it's. <laughs> oh, what the heck is this now? Oh my. <clears throat> Much like myself, everything is shifting between these four states. I'm cool with one of them. Bonkersville. I'm doing my best to ignore the insanity surrounding me. Gigantic pits, and there's bubbling lava down there. Encouraging. <laughs> Gigantic pits, encour. There's also the occasional low rumbling. Yep, everything's gonna be fine. Magic looking circle. It's on that disgusting throbbing island there. Oh. Doesn't seem to do anything by itself. I think we'll have to work together on this one, Kid A. All right, I trust you. I'm officially in full collab mode. Magic looking circle on a relatively normal looking island. <laughs> Looks like a magic circle on that collage looking island. Oh, I 
think I got it. I think I got it. I still don't get it. It's the states. The states need to fit. Come on, we got this. Daisy, you're kind of in people's faces. Kitty over on this one because I like that <laughs> form of her. Yeah. Good call. that jiggling kill or something in the background. I don't know what that is. Oh, it just... Oh, yeah. And now it's pixels. It's pixels, Daisy. Oh, I need the Minecraft branch for this.
another magic circle. It's on top of an organic looking pillar. Oh. Kitty, are you dead? Are you alive in there? No. Still kicking, Schrodinger. Oh God, are you okay? Can you breathe? What do we do? Yeah, I can breathe all right. There are mechanisms inside this thing. That's good to hear, because I see nothing on my end here. We can't let this slow us down, Buzz. Try and figure out your way forward while I work on this. On it. <laughs> Oh, some nice bones. Someone's earthly remains. Someone who never made it These out of here. These are the final words of Captain Johansson oh. of the Alert. I don't have any kind of recording device. I only hope this ungodly place, with all its strange magic, will somehow retain my last utterances. Oh, good news. Whoever you are, if you can hear this, know that this wretched place you've made your way to must be wiped off the face of the earth. That is what me and my shipmates on the Alert came here to do. Once we deciphered the sign, we left Oslo for Point Nemo with a ship full of explosives <coughs> and fuses, hell bent on destroying this island where the evil book is at its most powerful. I won't waste my breath on my exploits concerning <coughs> the Necronomicon. If you are here, you must be aware of the generations it has tricked into playing its awful roles and then led here to be made to disappear. When we embarked on this journey, we knew full well of the dozens that have failed before us. However, we have accomplished more than any of them. This horrible island is surrounded by active underwater volcanoes, and I can only hope that we've managed to rig them all to explode to trigger their eruption. We have started with the detonator on the highest mountain peak mm. and worked our way down. It did not come without sacrifices. The crew was driven crazy by the monstrosity of what they kept transforming into. By the time we were setting charges underwater, myself and first mate Green were the only sane men left. That's when we saw it. My god, we had found more than we had bargained for. The thing that should not be. We were driven mad with fear. I fled in terror and somehow clawed my way into this hall. I am probably on the side of the island we had not explored. And I see no way out of this hall where my bones <coughs> will find their final resting place. I can only hope that Green set all the fuses before he lost his mind. Or his life. If someone ever hears this, the detonator on the highest peak, bury this place and the horror that slumbers beneath. Feel the Necronomicon vibrating as I look at them. I don't. These are the final ones. I don't have. Oh, okay. Well, that is what. What? I, when we help. That's. The. We. I, if the dead. Oh no, some kind of knot inside this big stone slab. I've rearranged it, nothing changed. <laughs> I've rearranged it, nothing changed. I've rearranged it, nothing. How many more obstacles do you have in store for me, Point Nemo? I've got to find a way to solve this. Oh, <laughs> old classic Alexander way. Yep. Desperate times call for desperate measures. <laughs> Should keep that sword. Come on. <laughs> yeah. Who knows what's behind that door? Kitty, can you hear me? I've opened this door. We can keep going now. You can keep going. This contraption is way more complicated than I had anticipated. Go on ahead without me, Buzz. What do you mean? I can't just leave you behind trapped like this. Didn't you hear that ghost thing? All the volcanoes around here are rigged to blow up. Just go, Buzz. Find the Butcher. Don in peace might need you. 
I'll be okay. I'll try to make my way out of this trap. Kitty, I can't. Just go already. And be careful, numbskull. <laughs> Kitty, I love you. Get the f*** out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Probably not, not the best icebreaker, Buzz. <laughs> oh, I did not expect this here. What in heaven's name is this place? How can all this be here? This is straight up bizarre. There are framed pictures of some objects I've come across ever since this whole adventure began, like the exploding package and Priscilla's doll, but also of others that I don't recognize. These other objects vary from unusual to ancient. What's the point of all this? Who the heck could this strange place belong to? I'm leaving everything as it is. <laughs> Three empty frames. Looks like there used to be pictures in these, but they're gone. Oh, looking closer, there's a lot of wear and tear. Like they've seen a lot of different pictures come and go. Who put all of this here? Who lives here? Could it be? I'm leaving everything. <laughs> it's a book about ancient folk tales. It's open at Transylvania, Romania. Hmm. Oh, this watch page out. Describes it's on the move. The <laughs> This next page is about the castle <clears throat> and I think Vlad's ancestors and the masks. This can't be a coincidence. It's a book about ancient folk tales. It's open at Transylvania, Romania. Huh. <laughs> a framed picture of an unusual crystal. I don't recall ever seeing this before. Maybe it's the stone from the stars that gave Don his mark, but there's really no way of knowing. Weird. This looks just like Olmstein's sign, except there's a crazy amount of lines connecting tens and tens of dots all over the place. Can this mean that there are more than one signs? Olmstein, I can't wait for you to answer all my questions. I know what that is. Why it's framed and on display, that's a different story. Why would these three pictures be displayed more prominently than the others? I'm sick of looking at it. Huge porthole looking into a greenish <coughs> place. There's something off about it, though. It's like it's shimmering every once in a while. I'm getting a very strange vibe from it. Hmm. This makes me think of Hollow Knight. Oh, yeah, it is very Hollow Knight ish. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, that's Darkham, I think yeah. the city is. Some people I don't recognize. Yeah. This kind of looks like Otis. It does. Oh. 
<laughs> He's got the book. Mm-hmm. I guess that, that must be the Haunter's Mark. Haunter's Mark must be. Yeah. Not sure what the other two symbols are. It's like a bird's talon. Moons. Mm-hmm. I think that's Paris. Yeah. That's Transylvania. Mm -hmm. Whoa. The title of the book is A Storm Over Fishmouth. What? Should I look deeper into this? While on an antiquarian tour of an isolated fishing village called Fishmouth, a man called Robert Olmstein has an unexpected revelation. <clears throat> Olmstein? Robert Olmstein? What does this mean? Let's see what this page says. It had all started with the strange fishiness of the local populace, but now it was clear. There was more, so much more to this. It was as if whispers of dark ancient legends, revelations of unfathomable ancestry, madcap globe-trotting adventures, and the ever-present threat of slumbering horror were all coming together <coughs> into one blood-red line under the watchful eye of the Necronomicon. <coughs> Holy hardcover her medical history. I've stumbled onto something big. I'll just keep reading, I guess. These stories are too dark and beautiful not to come to life, uttered Olmstein with an enigmatic smile. Even the one ending with this world's complete destruction, there is no story if there is nothing at stake, came Olmstein's answer. The roles are set, the actors will come and go, and we will be here, watching, and controlling it, sometimes, when the time is right. Why not make it always, always? Where is the fun in that? And he let go of the book, watching it drop in slow motion into the crowd below. The end. Whoa. The title of the book. What? Should I? <clears throat> it's the Earth with a moon on a rotating arm attached to it. There's long red string hanging from the moon like it was cut or something. And I'm seeing dozens of shorter threads hanging from places all over the globe. <laughs> Jeff says, if Bob Olmstein is the game director, I'm going to be mad. <laughs> the greenish light coming in from the portal is only illuminating three quarters of the moon. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm leaving everything as it is. This book is called The Case of Basil Dexter Kerwin. Basil Kerwin, a bookish nobody counting the days away behind his office desk, unveils a century-spanning relationship between himself and a wizard named Corvinus, and mm. tries to avoid slowly transforming into something he detests. The pages are all crossed out and scratched over. It's hard to make out anything more. Cor Corvinus? Oh no, I'm starting to feel faint. I've, I've had enough. I'd better move on. This book is called Basil Un and Tr the P It's the Earth with a moon on a rotating arm attached to it. There's long red string hanging from the moon like it was cut or something. And I'm seeing dozens of shorter threads hanging from places all over the globe. The greenish light coming in from the portal is only illuminating three quarters of the moon. I'm out of here. Dawn and peace need me. Goodbye, strange room. Oh no! 
Oh, there's a squid. No, oh, like a that. moth to the flame, you finally made it. The carrier, right on time. Buzz, turn around, run. No, no, no. That is where you are wrong, little zealous fly. It is not him carrying the book. It was always the book carrying him here. Nonsense. We were always right on your tail, butcher. Oh, because you chose to, right? Adorable. But enough about that. Hand over the book, carrier. Or what? Or I constrict those electricity fields and zap your friends just like the bugs that they are. Not until you tell me what you want it for. Oh, come on. What difference does it make to you? This will all play out as it must, regardless. Let us stop wasting time. I can just read a spell and end you. We both know it does not work that way. It already worked once. Do I have to spell everything out for you? It worked once because it was written that it would. You had no say in this. The book chose the role, and now it returns to me for its final performance. You're insane. Bob Olmstein, or whatever he's calling himself. We are all just actors in his little production. Until you hand the Necronomicon over, that is. Production? Like a play? You have not caught on yet? Tough. I have no time to lay it out for you dimwits. Book, now. You owe us an explanation. I owe you nothing. But it really is simple, little fly. You are all prisoners in Olmstein's web of fiction, while I will claw my way out of it. So what's the book for? A fine seeker you turned out to be. It is the magic wand in the Illusionist's toolkit. This thing called Olmstein likes his stories. He simply set loose the magic wand into our boring world and watched it turn myth into reality. So many possible storylines he planted seeds for. The Carrier, the Seeker, the Protector, the Beast. Same roles, different actors. So much more fun when you defy all laws of nature and existence. Give me the book! Planted seeds? I need to know. Is he divine in nature? <laughs> Forgive the cliche laugh, but the idiotic question warranted it. What difference so does it make? What will you use the book for? The crowning achievement of my life's work with flesh and blood and metal. Breathing life into one of Olmstein's favorite characters. The half kufa? The meal those esoteric order idiots thought they'd sacrifice to Dagon? It goes by a much simpler name. Ya Cthulhu! He who dreams at the bottom of the sea, awaiting his awakening. The perfect triangle. The huge pair of wings you dug up in Four Maris. The first angle. Wings of the dragon. The oversized kraken you raised in Fishmouth. The second angle. Head of the kraken. You. The third angle. Iron will of man. You're just mind-controlling some poor Frankenstein creature, you psycho. Part man, part kraken, part dragon. Made one by the Necronomicon. And now, the moon is right. Why here? Why is this place special? If the Necronomicon's really related to the moon, it must be where the book is at its most powerful right now. This is no. where all his possible realities <clears throat> converge. Where I step out from between them. The moon is right. Oh, Olmstein. Fine bunch of actors you were dealt this time. They have seen all and understood nothing. No, 
No, wait. Holmstein, the moon, the Necronomicon, the Kraken. I think I'm starting to understand. Are you now? <laughs> what am I saying? Nothing makes sense. <laughs> oh, boss. No, wait. Holmstein wanted the monster here. And why is that? Because every good story needs a monster. A monster that the heroes can smite using the awesome power of the Necronomicon. There is just one little detail that is off. We're early, aren't we? Indeed. <laughs> Only when the moon is full does Olmstein regain control over the Necronomicon. He set it up that way, and it is beautiful. Until then, the book is useless to you, while I... Long have I studied its wicked pages. I know how to rein its chaotic majesty in. Oh, no. His eye in the sky, not yet fully open to our doings. Praise the gibbous moon. My time to strike. You... Laid us. Not quite. The story would have gathered us all here nonetheless. Just a while later. Congratulations on overcoming all those obstacles so quickly. You should have taken your time. So Olmstein is an. Uh. Impress me. What is Olmstein? <laughs> An alien. <laughs> the last person who'd believe in this mumbo jumbo, but even I know. What looks like magic to us is most probably just technology we don't understand. I have really had enough talk now. <sighs> last warning before they die. Okay, okay. Here. Welcome back, old friend. So now what? You'll just become. Cthulhu! Devourer of souls! An end to this wretched joke of a world! Destroy the world! That's it? You either haven't thought this through or you're just bad crap nuts. <laughs> Negotiating terms, little fly. Yes, they're in control right now, up there in the moon. But once I stamp this world out, when just me and them are the ones left standing, what? What happens? Appreciation for a mortal that became a god. For the pawn that broke the rules and checkmated the king. I have created life before. And I will destroy and then repopulate this world the way I see fit. Almsteen will never allow it. Start over from scratch. With an invincible god of death ruling over darkness? Breeding my own ruthless kind. Stamping out the weak. Nothing but chaos for years and years to come? That is not his kind of story. Him and his kind will just abandon this wretched earth. Move on to the next toy and leave this one to me. Time to become Cthulhu. Oh. Oh. G'day! Shh, shut up, dummy! How do I stop those force fields? Forget those! All the underground volcanoes around this peak are rigged to explode! The detonators got to be around here somewhere, look for that! Blow up volcanoes, awaken beasts for mind control! Got it! On it! <laughs> That's junk. Uh -huh. Cardboard boxes, discarded electronic devices, trash. This whole place is wired. I'll bet it's wired to blow stuff up. Thick red cables. They run all over the place. Hard to tell where to exactly. It's impossible to tell where they all lead to. Quickly, hook up the detonator. It dies tonight. Can't do anything. I'm stuck in place. Piles and piles of junk. 
strewn all over. I can barely make it out. Piles of debris. They're everywhere. No idea who brought all this stuff up here. The rain really obscures my sight of it. Haunter's mark doesn't resonate. Still a lot of junk, but on some kind of raised platform. Hard to see anything under that upside-down box. <laughs> oh, this is so frustrating. That's it! That's the detonator! Shut up! What? No! No! The... The detonator! That's it! There's the detonator! Kidda! Right below you! All right. Let's hope it makes a big enough splash. Not so fast, you verbose vermin! Oh no! Unless you want to fry, you are not touching that detonator! No! No! <clears throat> no! Feel that energy cracking <clears throat> in the air? I've reached the final three phases of the incantation! World, prepare to meet Cthulhu! We gotta do something! Yeah! Yeah! Cthulhu Fatigan! Damn it! Damn it! Ah! Go come and nahan! Yore Mithikasiyaha! I love some good Cthulhu chanting. <laughs> so many consonants. Oh. That's the one way out of here. One route back to safety. I think I know what I have to do. I can't do that. I'm bent down. Go, Go back the way you came, Kitty. It's the only way out. I failed you. I've dragged you along all over the place and achieved nothing. I ruined your life. I couldn't change you back. I lost the Necronomicon. And now this Luna took my turn into a god of death and destruction. You're innocent. Just run. Run as fast as you can. Nabas, it isn't easy to admit this, but I've discovered some surprising things about myself since this all started. Run away? Sorry, but that's not my style. Time for... Well, no time left. Bye. <gasps> that is a lot of volcanoes. <gasps> Sled. <clears throat> Cthulhu. Why won't you listen to me? Oh. 
Casey, don't watch. Yes. Don't get any brave ideas about saving the, the world. She wanted us to think she was. <laughs> We're all gonna miss her, buddy. It's as if time stood still for her. That's it. Kind of a bit of a cliffhanger. Though I guess things are going to pick up in Near Mage. Oh, is it like the same kind of setting? Yes. There's, there's a, they've revealed at least one character from this is showing up in there. Oh, okay. And yeah, it is the same world. Cool. Got a little more here. <clears throat> <laughs> Time to rock and roll. Oh, my oh boy. <laughs> Kitty is going to be a near mage in okay. some capacity. Interesting. But, yeah. I'm curious to see how they overlap. Mm -hmm. I hope you had fun. Yeah, it was fun. It's nice to scratch the old venture game itch every once in a while. Yeah. <laughs> I'll have to pick out something new for you next week. Yeah. Do you have some ideas yet? I think I did. I forgot them, though. Oh, okay. <laughs> Daisy. How come you don't have Eldritch powers yet? Yeah. What the fuck? Or maybe she does. And... I'm a little surprised this seems kind of amb ambitious for a Kickstarter game to end on. It's like yeah. such a cliffhanger. It is, yeah. <laughs> I hope they get to pick it up at some point. Yeah, but yeah I'm, I'm never quite easy with <laughs> Kickstarter games that have yeah. such an open ending. It was good, it was charming. Mm -hmm. Quality art. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I haven't seen Bob Olmstein in the credits, so... <laughs> okay, <laughs> yeah.
Some sort of cooking co-op on Thursday. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll we'll have to see uh, mm -hmm. if Cook Serve Delicious, uh, if it's co-op, shares one screen or if it's like two separate screens. Yeah. I'll have to look into that. Sure, we can experiment with that before Thursday. Mm-hmm. And I did get... <laughs> I did get some fancy gadgets to kind of streamline this up a bit. I got one HDMI splitter and two HDMI switches. Oh my. It's gonna be state, either state of the art or just a big mess. Big pile of wires and switches. So the that near mage demo did that come out last year? Yeah, I think Sometime around the summer is okay. when it came out. I remember we played it last year. Yeah. I think Steam was doing some sort of like special festival thing with a lot of demos. Oh, okay. Like a Steam Next Fest, probably. They just had one earlier this year. And they released the demo to coincide with that. The backers on Kickstarter. Yeah, no Shoggoths were harmed during the production of this game. <laughs> Yeah, I think they're targeting next year for Near Mage, but I'm not quite sure. Okay. We'll have to see. Might probably try to play that when it does come out. Well, that was Gibbous. Mm -hmm. I want to... If nothing else, I want, to, I want to see Kitty as a giant monster. Yes, that'll be good. That's enough incentive to... <laughs> Revisit the setting? Yes. <laughs> Revisit the uh, give us uh, uh, ludomatic universe, I yeah, guess. I guess so. <laughs> oh, there's a cat under the. We'll be uh, back in a couple days with either cooks or delicious, overcooked, or something else. Yes. Culinary theme. Mm -hmm. Maybe if escape escapes and then has cooking theme. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> we'll see you until then. Easy, what were you